Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part two of Travel Biz project. In the last class, we discussed about how to apply the first normal form and how to apply the second normal form. So after applying the uh, second normal form, actually we got three tables. Basically, one is bus table, other one is pickup points, and other one is uh, destination table. Right? Uh, so after applying second normal form, we got actually three tables. One is bus table. Other one is pickup point, another one is destination table. Right? Why I removed the fare, I will tell. So here, now what we have to do? These are the three original tables that are related for our project. Now find the relationship between first table to second table, and first table to third table, and second table to third table. So is there relationship between bus and pickup points? Yes. What is the relationship? Pickup points belongs to what bus? Is it clear? and what is the relationship between destination and bus these destination points belongs to what bus and what is the relationship between pickup point and destination there is no relationship so here based on the relationship between bus and pickup points i created one more table that is bus pickup points table so here you see uh, now in bus table service number is primary key in pickup points table pid is primary key in bus pickup point table service number is foreign key because the primary key of one table visiting to another table will become as foreign key and the pid in bus pickup points table is foreign key sv number pid combinedly you can call as composite primary key constraint and foreign key constraint is generally used to establish the relationship between two or more tables as we already know that primary key will not allow duplicate values primary key will not allow null values we cannot apply more than one primary key in a single table generally the key attribute will become as what primary key constraint and foreign key constraint will allow duplicate values foreign key constraint will allow null values and uh, we can apply more than one foreign key constraint on a single table is it clear so here if you observe clearly Uh, bus pickup point table S V one P I D. So you, can you tell me the pickup points of S V one S V underscore one? If I ask you, what are the pickup points of S V underscore one? So here you go to bus pickup points. Here S V underscore one pickup point is P I D underscore one. That is B H C L. Similarly P I D two Miyapur. Similarly K P H B. Similarly S R Nagar. Similarly Amit Pet. Similarly Lakdi Kapoor. Similarly L B Nagar. It means that these all are the pickup points belongs to what S V one. Similarly, there will be pickup points for S V two, S V three, so on. Right. So, to the main aim of applying normalization is to reduce redundancy and dependency of data. Redundancy means uh, reducing the duplicate data. If I again, uh, if for example, if you have thought that sir, I will keep S V number in pickup point table only, what will happen? The number of p names, the duplicate data will be more. For example, PID underscore one BHL SV one. Again, I have to write PID underscore one BHL SV two SV three. So the duplicate values will be increased. So we have taken a separate table that is bus pickup point table. Bus pickup point table. This table is generally used to mention that these uh, are the pickup points of this particular bus SV one. Similarly. The pickup points of SV two, SV three also will be added into bus pickup points table. Right? I hope you understood. So similarly, here we are creating the bus destination table. So here I have done a small modification. You don't uh, worry here. In bus table SV underscore two, I changed the two place from Hyderabad to Vizag. I kept. Don't worry. So here, if you observe clearly, there are two tables. One is bus table, other one is destination table. Is it clear? And uh, what is the relationship between these two tables? These destination points belongs to a particular bus. For example, what are the destination points of S V underscore two? One is Vijayawada, Rajamandri, and then uh, Thuni, and then Annavaram, and then Vaisak. It means that the bus which is travelling from is it clear? Um, Hyderabad to Vaisak destination point. This bus must first reach to what? Vijayawada. Rajamandri, Thuni, Annavaram, Vaisak. This is the actually the bus route. First it has to go to Vijayawada, then Rajamandri, then Thuni, then Annavaram, then Vaisak. Is it clear? So this is about the relationship between these two tables. 
relation between bus and pickup points bus pickup point table relation between bus and destination bus destination table and the next important table is fare destination table this is very very important table having the service number actually in our project the fare of the bus it depends on what from place and to place so here let us consider the bus is traveling from hyderabad to vizag so these all are the destination points of the bus that is the customer can take the ticket from hyderabad to vijayawada or hyderabad to rajamandri or hyderabad to tuni or hyderabad to annavaram or hyderabad to vizag or the customers can take the ticket from vijayawada to rajamandri or vijayawada to tuni or vijayawada to annavaram the fare is depending on the distance is it clear so if you clearly observing fare destination table i have service number from place department id uh, destination id to place destination id from place uh, de uh, departure time to place arrival time and fare for example uh, you can understand i will show in this table if you see here sv2 means the bus is traveling from hyderabad to vizag uh, the destination uh, did underscore 12 means the destination point is hyderabad D8 underscore one means what Vijayawada. And the actual this bus is going from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. At Hyderabad, this bus will start at 8 p.m. and it will arrive to Vijayawada at 4 a.m. and the fare is 600. Similarly, you see the same bus. D8 underscore one means Hyderabad to D8 underscore two. That is Rajamandri. This bus is starting at Hyderabad, so the passengers can take the ticket from Hyderabad to Rajamandri, whose uh, Uh, we do at hyderabad this bus departure time is 8 pm and rajamandri 7 am fare is 700 similarly the same bus from hyderabad to annavaram if you observe it will reach at 9 am to annavaram fare is 800 if the distance is increasing the fare is also increasing similarly hyderabad to vizag at vizag it will reach at 11 am and the fare is 1000 rupees something like that right similarly dad underscore 1 The same bus, if you observe, D8 underscore one means Vijayawada, D8 underscore two means Rajamandri. The same bus, where the customer can take the ticket from Vijayawada to Rajamandri. At Vijayawada, the bus will start at 4 a.m. and Rajamandri it will reach at 7 a.m. The fare is 300 rupees. And the same bus, the customer can take the ticket from Vijayawada to Annavaram, 400 rupees. Vijayawada to Vizag, 600 rupees. So this is the actual final tables of our database. Totally six tables are there. One is bus table, other one is pickup point, another one is destination, and uh, these are the three original tables. Is it clear? Now bus pickup point table is generated because of the relationship of bus and pickup point, and uh, bus destination is generated because of the relationship between bus and destination. So here, if you observe clearly. here you can see in bus table service number is primary key in pickup point table pid is primary key in destination table did is primary key in bus pickup points table service number uh, is foreign key pid is foreign key and the combination of these two columns is composite primary key Composite primary key constraint means applying primary key constraint for the combination of columns. And if combinedly when those two columns are combined, then only primary key is there. Otherwise, no primary key. In bus destination table, service number is foreign key, and DID is foreign key, and service number DID combination you can apply composite primary key. In fare destination table, service number is foreign key. From place DID is foreign key. From place DID is nothing but what in destination table DID. Here it is foreign key. Whenever you try to apply foreign key constraint, the column names may not be same, but the data type must be same. The data type of the primary key column and the data type of the foreign key column along with size must be same. And in fare destination table, two place DID is also what foreign key. And from departure time to arrival time and a fare. That's it. is it you don't confuse with this departure time and arrival time these are the actual bus departure time and arrival time and actually this bus is starting at hyderabad and this bus is uh, uh, reaching to vizag 
At Hyderabad, it will start at 7 a.m. and Vizag, it will reach at so Hyderabad, it will start at 5 p.m. and uh, it will reach at 7 a.m. Something like that. So bus table means these all the columns are purely related to bus only. Pickup points table purely related to pickup points. Destination purely related to destination points. Now based on the relationship of bus and pickup points, you got what bus pickup point table. And based on the relationship of bus and destination, we got bus destination table. And this is fare destination table. Uh, normalization you can understand along with some experience. As a fresher level, it is somewhat difficult uh, to understand the normalization. Mostly, if you practice some more scenarios, like uh, in the last, you can search for my video, some food court by Kanababu in YouTube. I prepared one more project. Uh, there also explain normalization. And uh, like that, if you try to take any real-time scenarios and if you try to apply, then you may understand in a better manner. And I applied the database diagram, created the database diagram, the class diagram, you can see here. Bus table, it will show the primary key and foreign key relationships. If you want, I will show you the next slide for which columns you have to apply primary key and foreign key. So, so here I, if you observe, here I mentioned the clear relationship. In bus table, service number is primary key. In pickup points table, PID is primary key. In destination table, DID is primary key. In bus pickup point tables, SV number, PID are foreign key. Is it clear? And in uh, bus destination, SV number, DID are foreign key. And in fare destination, service number is foreign key. FDID is foreign key. TDID is foreign key. FDID means from destination ID, TDID means to destination ID. So these are the perfect tables that are related to your uh, database. So based on these tables, you can create your database. But if you want the queries also, I will uh, uh, give the queries in, uh, in the next slide. I will explain about the queries and how to create the tables. Right, for more videos and uh, for more updates, you can subscribe to my YouTube and Facebook group. So here I have mentioned my YouTube channel, Facebook group links. Thank you. In the next video, I will explain you how to create the database and how to create the tables. Thank you. Have a nice day.